Good evening, I'm Jen Chapman in for Gary Harris. The Old Overton Golf Club in Vestavia Hills played home to the ninth annual Knicks Kids Golf Tournament today. Alabama football coach Nick Saban played hole 17 with every golfer that participated in the tournament, which directly benefits the Knicks Kids Foundation, raising awareness and funds for organizations in Alabama and the Southeast. When speaking with the media, Coach Saban said all players for the class of 2015 have already reported to campus and have begun classes. He says his message to this class is the same as always. Now my message to all of our guys when they come in is, you know, all the same. It doesn't really change from what we talk to them about in recruiting. We're going to do everything that uh, we can do to help you be more successful in life because you're involved in the program. Uh, so. You know, we have a standard of excellence that we try to achieve in terms of your personal development, um, your academic uh, development, and, you know, your athletic development. And hopefully, you know, doing all these things the right way, making the right choices and decisions in these areas is going to help you be successful. Another name has been added to Avery Johnson's coaching staff, the Alabama men's basketball program, announcing this evening that Scott Pospicle has been hired as an assistant coach for the Crimson Tide. Pospicle has over 30 years of coaching experience at the AAU, junior college, and high school levels. He joins, uh, Johnson calls Pospicle legendary on the AAU scene. For the last decade, Pospicle has led the Texas Titans as one of the top AAU programs in the country, including seven national championship games and 25 players signing Division I scholarships. Aaron Rutliff and Maya Jansen won the NCAA doubles title just a few weeks ago, becoming only the second duo in history to repeat as NCAA doubles champs. The Alabama pair still have another year left to play together, but say it still feels pretty special to do something rare. Like for us to play well, like this kind of the same week in the year is like super difficult, and we, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, somebody it. told me like to win it once, the stars have to align, and then to win it a second time, like I mean something really has to go your way. Yeah. And I think honestly that's what happened both years. Things just went our way at the end of the season last year, and same this year. As a coach, sometimes you just have to know when to just get out of their way, and I've always held on to that and thought, man, that's valuable information. So that's kind of what I did. Aaron and Maya are a dynamic duo. I mean, it sounds funny, but it, it, they are truly a dynamic duo. UA Sports Director Gary Harris is out this evening because he was playing in the Steve Hole Memorial Golf Tournament today at the Dancing Rabbit Golf Club in Philadelphia, Mississippi. And unlike me, Gary can play golf. Watch this. Right in it. Like yeah. yeah. For you, Jen, for all you good folks back in Tuscaloosa, the kid is hot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we end sports. That's a good note to end on. And just wait. Tamika will be back to finish up the news.